What's up guys, it's me again, back with uh, Ray's episode 2 of Rare Figure Inventory. Uh, if you guys didn't see my first video, it's pretty much a, a show about me bringing up an old figure from maybe a couple years ago that has went up in price since the time it first came out. So uh, last, the very first episode was the Chris Jericho Maximum Aggression figure. And this week is this figure here. Bring it up close for you guys. If you guys seen that figure around, it's Jeff Hardy and Umaga 2-pack from about 2000, well, about last year, say so yeah. that. About the same same time where ECW Series 2 came out. You can see those guys on there. Which actually, that series there with uh, Bobby Lashley, Mike Knox, Joey Styles, Elijah Burke, Kelly Kelly, and Balls Mahoney. That was actually the worst selling uh, paper or wrestling series that they've ever put out, so... I used, you can still go to Walmart now and it'll still be there and if you if you I'll, I'll put a site on for you guys to look on the the buy rates of the paper of the uh, the figure series and you can see how low ECW series 2 was compared to 1 and 3 and 4 which they are on now so yeah this this two pack I got from uh, Toys 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 about a year ago for about $30 29.99 and uh, the main reason I got it was because I didn't have a Jeff Hardy or Umaga figure and this is about the time when they were really feuding a lot when they'd have like almost a match every week so um, so I got this and my main reason to get it was to open it and put it with all my other ones that are open but you know obviously like I said last time never open your figures and you know I kinda had to restrain myself from doing it so I hung it up on my wall just in the corner where my, my other stuff is so I, I wouldn't touch it or wouldn't open it and you look at it, and it's you think you know it's not worth that much, right? Because it's you know Jeff Hardy new manga. Who who cares about that, right? But that's what happened. No one bought the figure. Didn't do as good as everyone thought it would. So they discontinued it, and now it's almost impossible. Well, it's not impossible to find, but it's hard to find. So from the time that I bought it, when it was thirty dollars, and now this went up to seventy nine ninety nine. So eighty dollars for this figure, and I bought it for thirty. And that was in a matter of a year, and uh, I think I checked about maybe a couple, not even a couple months ago, maybe a month ago, and it was sixty nine ninety nine. So it went up ten dollars within a month. So that's pretty good, and I'm actually really glad I didn't open this yet. So, like I said, it'll pay off in the long run, right? So this you can probably find at specialty toy stores. I I would highly doubt you can find it at Walmart or Toys R Us. So I don't know what they have in the states, but like here and they probably have it there too but they have uh, a store called toys 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 you can pick it up from there and even i know wwe uh sh events they actually carry some limited edition figures like i went to a raw show in uh in september and they had uh oh december sorry what am i saying <laughs> they had a they had a john cena exclusive figure there so it was it was an older one though it was the one with his uh, u.s title belt and uh I don't know how much that is, I didn't even get it, but whatever. Mm, they recently came out with a Rey Mysterio tribute to the Troops figure, which is already dropping in price. So, I don't know if that's going to be really worth too much, so... I might get that just because it's the figure itself, it looks pretty good. But yeah, so, this, right here, $79.99, you can get it on Toy Whiz for that price. Or you can, even eBay has it for the same price as well, but... If you don't want to pay and you're willing to look that hard for one figure, probably, probably your best spot would be to go to uh, a, to a specialty toy store where they only sell just figures and like collectors' items. And well, I'm guessing there's a lot more in friggin' U.S. than there is here in Canada. Because you go downtown Toronto, you'll find maybe one or two, two at most, specialty toy stores and. The one I go to, they are amazing. Like they always have like up to date figures, and sometimes I went there. Like the last time I went there, it was a big disappointment. I was I was pissed off because the series came out and they didn't have anything. I guess they were waiting for all their other ones to sell out. So you know what can you do? Is it's kind of like a hit and, hit and miss situation, just like it is going anywhere else. So if you're a big Jeff Hardy fan, you pick this up. You know it's worth eighty dollars. If not, then you know what can I say? But it's a good figure to have. Um, obviously, it's going to go up in price more and more. So, yeah. And <laughs> yes, and I'm all, I'm off all week, right? I got this reading week here, and for my school at least. So yesterday, I went to WWE Niagara Falls, and you can see I got this shirt from there. 
another big disappointment. They had all the old stuff, like classic series from like Rey Mysterio and Jeff Hardy, which was about two or three. Rey Mysterio was three series ago, Jeff Hardy was two, so they are not updated at all. I was gonna videotape it for you guys, but you know, I was, didn't really see much point. I don't know who, if you guys seen it or not, but my bad for that. So I went out and I went back to that guy's house from my first video, one of my first videos about the new wrestling stuff. And I ended up getting, I'll actually show you guys. All that, there's four boxes of stuff there. And a little peek at everything. That's a Mankind signed figure. You can see the autograph on his leg. I'll go through all this stuff with you guys because I really want to show you guys what I got. High flyers and then this is for freaking yeah yeah. I told him I'd get this. I, WrestleMania 15, 16, 17, 18. All in their original DVD stuff. And then those are some old school pogs in there. Open show you guys those. There you got like Ric Flair's first uh, WWF figure. You can see there, uh, where does it say? Yeah, whatever, it's the first figure. And then this one I actually found, I was actually shocked when I found this. The WWF magazine after WrestleMania 12 when Shawn Michaels won. Very good to have. I was, wow, yeah. And uh, there's a Christian figure there. What else we got? This. This is a little peek. I'll show you guys like a more in-depth thing. Pin set from WrestleMania 20. And uh, he had all these magazines from like 2003, you know, three, four, five. I just picked up all the ones I didn't have, and the ones I did have, I gave for my buddy. So that's that. And then there's actually a, I wasn't even expecting to get it. I wasn't expecting on getting this, but work some things around and. There's a new belt that has come home to me. You see my world titles right over here too. So it's not the world titles. My world titles right here. With that stuff there. And then, yeah, you guys already seen all this stuff already. Just to show you guys again. But uh, yeah, there's a new belt. And I'll be showing you guys what it is in my next video. Which I am going to film in about five minutes. So stay tuned. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.